And that kind of leads into the question that my boy FBK left um, with the $20 super chat. Thank you for the donation, bro. He said, what's up, guys? Crypto, do you see any other new gen characters being able to keep up with Boruto and Kawaki Power in the future? If so, who and how? You got you got backdoor power ups, um, like I'm like, not even like on like some time skip shit because that's like typical Shonen shit. That's how like Yamcha goes from Cyberman power level to Ginyu Force power level in only a few months of training. So like it's gonna happen, but um, I think everybody on Team Seven except for Konohamaru is gonna come out uh, with a buff, and the framework's <laughs> already there. <laughs> I don't even try to trash uh, on Komahamaru. I'm okay. I'm just keeping this shit real though. Like um with Sarda, you have a few things. So like with the Sharingan, the Sharingan, uh, the more hate somebody feels or the stronger the emotion Chia feels, whatever that emotion is, it does something to their chakra and actually strengthens their chakra. Hate's been the one thing that's been most associated with it. When Toby Rama was telling Hashirama, like, yo, you can't put you can't put somebody like uh, moderate as Hokage, because have you heard the thing about the Sharingan? The stronger their hatred, the stronger they grow and everything. He wasn't even talking about the Mangekyo with that. So, like, th there's a way you can do that with Sarda when you channel that emotion. That's where her having those Sakura genes kind of come in because, hell, both her parents were fucking moody. So, like, that's one thing you can do there. But uh, yeah. between that and the chakra control, you can kind of get you can kind of get that if you can get Sarda's uh showing on base level up to uh, say she's keeping up with like the uh first version karma uh borto like once you add in the hate amp and once you add in like a uh, amp that you get from uh the mangekyo and everything you can start stacking stuff that way so there's a way to do it narratively it's just that like their bases are gonna have to get insanely strong the same thing with like miski like with the uh sage transformation his base is going to have to be insanely strong mm -hmm. if he's going to be able to use that sage mode and realistically keep up because you're dealing with um unquantified multipliers and with both of them it comes down to different things like the sharingan there's other factors like with sage mode it comes down to how much nature energy can you take in the difference with Six pass sage mode and regular sage mode is just one allows you to take in a fuck ton of sage uh nature energy more than the other one does. So it's like there's other factors. Like Misky Sage Sage Mode is different. Like Orochimaru did something to him. I don't know if he like butt fucked Nosuski or whatever he did. Yo. But he's like glowing Yo. and he's got fucking horns and the eyes. Are, it's like what like that ain't fucking snakes. Well, that's something else. Like Rochimaru did something. <laughs> the longest theory, like from from like the beginning of Boruto, is that Misuki probably has something to do with Tonetti because their his sage mode looks almost exactly like Tonetti's. Um, was it Tensegon mode? Yeah, the Tensegon chakra mode. mode. Yeah. Yeah, like even when like uh, Naruto chapter seven hundred came out, right? Like that would be like I want to say September twenty fourteen. Like, I was like towards the end of my run in college, like uh, in the fall semester. Um, like I remember when that came nigga out. Said, nigga says run like he was making a run for the championship. So. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, who making a run for the champ? What championship? How, how deep was your running in the playoffs, bro? What was it second round, third round, finals? Yo, we got we got we got to talk about the Giants later on in the pod, by the way. Oh, yeah, we four on one.